Welcome to the OSO VR tutorial video, Training Station Pre-Setup. Let's start with your training station surface. We recommend between three and a half to five feet of table space. For example, a six foot folding table is a preferred surface that provides plenty of margin on both ends. A power outlet will also be required. The Razer computer included in the OSO VR's mobile training unit must be plugged in during all VR training or demonstration sessions and will not perform optimally if not connected to AC power. There must be enough room in front of the table to allow for proper movement for the trainee when they are in a VR training session. We recommend at least 4x4 four four feet of space, and at most, all you should need is 6x6 six six foot of space. Let's talk about your external display. This is optional. The Razer computer included has a 14-inch display that is sufficient for any training scenario. An external display is recommended to optimize engagement for any demo or training session where multiple trainees or attendees are present, such as an exhibit booth, conference rooms, or dinner meetings. We recommend using at least a 30-inch or larger HDMI-enabled display. The OSO VR mobile training unit includes adapters for both HDMI and VGA inputs, and a 15-foot HDMI cable. Once you have selected your surface, you will open the OSO VR mobile training unit. Inside, you will find the following components, all resting in water-cut polyurethane foam, custom designed by OSO VR to optimally protect contents during transport and shipping. First, you'll find a Razer computer and power supply underneath, an Oculus Rift headset, two touch controllers, two sensor towers, accessories for an external display, including USB-C to HDMI adapter, USB-C to VGA adapter, and one 15-foot HDMI cable. Additional accessories that you can find underneath the laptop will be four AA batteries for the touch controllers and one six-foot extension cord. 